Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 28 of Let's Play Minecraft on the Stone and Legion modded server. So today we're going to check out uh, some Draconic Craft. I made the shovel, never actually made the shovel, let's go try it out. Um, I hate the tooltips, honestly. <laughs> I want them dead, I want them dead. Uh, let's hit this and let's get this tooltip, oh crap, there we go. Let's get this one down here somewhere out of the way. Maybe it'll all be better in the end. There you go. Um, but anyways, yeah, let's, let's give this a try. Let's do an underground. No need to, uh, demolish the surface of the world. Okay, so it's, it's pretty, uh, you know, normal. Of course, you can go three by three, which isn't too bad. So that's, that's the, uh, what it looks like normally. Of course, it'll change completely when we upgrade it, etc. But we're going to go further today and uh, start doing the upper tier, uh, draconic anything, really. And uh, I'd like to make uh, the pickaxe, etc. So I'm not sure if these upgrade with the enchants or not. I guess we'll find out when we do it. It'll sh it'll probably show it in the thing, but if not, we'll remove them before we do it. So we need to make the awakened core, etc. Uh, this is when we need to get the heart. Uh, I think we're gonna probably need two. Uh, we're gonna need some cores. Uh, and we do two cores. And we're going to need um, TNT and Activator. There you go. And uh, Crescent Hammer. Okay. This will, should work out, but we'll find out for sure. Uh, do, 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 do. We don't need any of this stuff, really. Okay. Uh, we don't need that. We need that. We'll figure out how this all goes here. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think I have everything, but hey, trial and error, right? Uh, so I think the idea here is since we have no TNT placement, we need to go ahead and uh, interesting. This causes an error. Huh. I'll have to look this in. This apparently spams the server with airs. And then we take this out. And oh yeah, we need our little flint and steel to light it up. Flint and steel. Okay, so I guess the idea here is nothing usually spawns here, and here's a spider. Boy, that did like no damage. Uh, okay, so I think we have to throw the hearts in here, well, one at a time. And I think we light this on fire. Or blow it up anyways. And then what we're going to do is drop this into it, I believe. And yeah. Oh, and I forgot something important, which is beyond stupid. Because without it, we are doomed. So let's get the draconic blocks here. There they are. The biggest key recipe to this is charging these blocks up. So you got to make sure you charge these up or you're wasting a lot of stuff here. As far as I know, they do four at a time. We could try making more and see what happens, actually. Won't hurt. I'm pretty sure they only do four, so. Yep, there you go. And there is our first, let's turn this into a one by one, draconic blocks. There you go. Perfect. So, we'll do the same thing here, but we probably should. I, I don't want to take the chance of somehow it blows it up or just, you know, demolishes it. Uh, there we go. And uh, here we go. Oh, yeah, maybe we throw the heart in there again. This is actually a lot easier than I thought. Uh, these aren't easy because, I mean, it costs 100 million per block of energy. So I'm out of energy again. Um, but, I mean, of course it's worth it. So if you check over here, uh, yeah, you can see oh, we're already at 115 million. So we're slowly restoring. Maybe not get so close this time. It looks pretty badass, though. I think they're turning color too. You can see it kind of turning. They're like heating up sort of idea. Unless I'm going crazy, but I think they are turning. Oh shit, I didn't do the... Uh, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I forgot to throw these in there. Woo! I think we made it in time. There we go. Maybe they weren't turning color. Maybe I was just going crazy. 
But thankfully, we caught it in time because that would have been bad. And there they go. Um, you just, there you go, three by three. Yeah. So uh, we have eight of those blocks, and we'll probably need more over time, but let's let's get eight done first. So here you go. That's uh, 64 and eight. Perfect. Um, 72 in total if you're lazy and don't want to count. I am excited. This is this is perfect. So we get to finally make our first uh, upgraded pickaxe, and I kind of wanted to go through the actual chain. So if you click this, of course, you're gonna see we're gonna have nothing available. Uh, I don't know what this is like. Axe, dig speed, AOE. Oh, it's a tr a tree kind of thing. Eh, meh. Um. Anyway, so yeah, so we can see that we're gonna have to make whatever here. Uh, oh crap, we're going to have to make one, two, three, four of the cores here. And then, uh, yeah. Didn't I just make those cores, you bastard? Maybe they weren't the actual. Hmm. I thought we just made those, but maybe not. Oh, never mind. One, two, three, four. Oh, and then we're running out of normal draconic, which is not really bad. It's just we have to break it up here. There you go. And okay, so how many of these we have? I think that was the right amount. We're gonna have to get more nether stars, of course, because this is ridiculously expensive. Um there we go. So we got ooh, expensive versus whatever. And then oh, we're missing one core in the middle of that one. Oops, there you go. Another nether star. <laughs> We're eating nether stars like left and right here. And there we go. And I think we got most of it now. Yep. So does it give you the enchants? No, it doesn't look like it gives you the enchants. So you definitely want to remove your enchants over here so you don't accidentally uh, lose it. Because um, that would suck. Well, it doesn't really suck for us. We could easily do it, but like, who who wants to go through that process again? And then we put our pick in here, and there you go. So this pick holds a lot more energy, 10 million, so yeah. Not like I care because we have all the auto-charging stuff, but of course it's going to cost us a bit as well for that pick. But uh, it has void junk on, which is probably going to be the nice thing. So you can change the size of it, customize it, of course, do our you know, normal. So you can go 3x3, three three, et cetera. Um, we're not supposed to do 7x7 seven seven or even 5x5 five five anymore. That's kind of changed over time, but uh, the idea is 3x3. Three three. Uh, so Void the Junk is on. AoE Safe Mode. Um, never really figured out that. There's a multiplier, but you can't change that. I guess that's if you're too fast. Uh, so let's go ahead and open the inventory. And uh, there you go. So there is our new pick, and then I guess we can try it. I don't know if we'll notice it much differently, but hopefully we will. Actually, it feels a bit faster. And of course, the nice thing about this one is it goes right in your inventory, and now it voids junk. So yeah, things aren't slowing us down anymore. Like, um, I guess if we mine this... Oh, it doesn't mine through that. It can't mine through it, huh? Well, anyways, it's avoiding or voiding uh, the cobblestone, probably everything else. Ooh, gold. I need gold for sure. That's kind of cool. Is that diamond just sitting there? There you go. Ooh, do we not have fortune on this? It's acting like there's no fortune right now. Uh-oh. 19. Hmm. It's just odd that we didn't seem to have fortune. Let's just double check to make sure we have fortune on this. Uh, Soulbound, Fortune, oh we do have it, Efficiency, so maybe there was some other reason why it did that. Uh, do we have any redstone? No, so this should give us two, right? Nine, okay, so we that was just bad luck for the diamonds, I think. So there you have it, that is the badass uh, axe for the Draconic Pick, and uh, pretty cool. So we can make the upgraded sword. I think the sword one's the next one. And then eventually the shovel. I don't know if we'll get the shovel done today, but uh, yeah. Um, so let's go ahead with the sword. I think the sword's pretty important to me. 40% attack damage to mobs. That's ridiculous. I already do too much damage and it's just going to do even more damage. So yeah, one, two, three, four. 
Whoa, we ran out of course. Not good, not good. Um, yeah, we're not, we're gonna run out because of gold issues that we're having right now. So yeah, we definitely won't be able to get all of it done. But uh, let's get some of these going. So yeah, eight, twelve probably. Okay. Um, I just need a. There you go. Oh, we ran out of stars. No way. Okay, well, we, we won't be able to finish this now because we ran out of the nether star, so that sucks. But here's this part, and yeah, like I said, we just ran out of the nether stars. So we got, you know, almost all the way there till the nether star issue. Um, there you go. Of course, that's our issue. And then we're missing the one in the middle, which is another nether star. And there you go. So that kind of sucks. We could easily go farm that though. Uh, let's go ahead and I don't want to throw everything of mine in there. I don't need you anytime soon. Uh, I might get rid of this. I don't think I need this anymore. I think we're getting to the point where that hammer is not needed. Uh, trying to see how I'm doing this stuff. So don't want that because I'll still use this for now. And there is my main weapon. Um, don't need that anymore, which is kind of nice. Don't need that. Okay, so we don't want to accidentally click that anyway. So I usually put this something like this. There you go. Uh, do, 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 do. And then what I usually fill my last tor uh, slot with is torches. So that's kind of nice. So I'm starting to get a little more inventory space, I guess, here. Um, especially since this can do multiple things. Uh, do, do, do. And it'll change even more once I get the next uh, pick. But uh, we need uh, a good weapon here. We need a cleaver with the beheading. Uh, sadly, I don't have even a better one. Um, you know, maybe it's time to make a better cleaver. Might, it might be time for something like that. I don't know where my cleaver is. I think I might have lost it. That is in my cleaver. Oh, no, never mind. I know where it is. It's in here. I haven't been using this for a while, so... There you go. B. There it is. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go Let's go kill some of these guys. So, let's go to Passions of Pike's Place for the... Actually, maybe we have enough. I never even thought of that. Wither... Oh, we got three here. You know what? That's enough for the one thing, then. Derp. Um, soul Sand. And... Uh... Bow. Might as well get our overpowered bow. And, uh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Where's my milk? I usually have my milk on this one, but I guess I put it in here. There you go. This is why it's nice having the extra belt, but the thing is I'll lose anything in the belt, so it's kind of like I don't usually normally do it just because I don't want to take the chances sometimes of dying and losing everything, especially when we deal with soulbound everything now. But, here we go. And one, two, and three. And yeah, let's just own this little punk. Imagine the next weapon, how much damage it's going to do to him. It's going to be ridiculous. And then, of course, we're done now, so I'll drink the milk. I'll usually not even bother, uh, just because why bother, right? But, yeah. Oh, yeah, we wanted to try something damage-wise today. Um, we'll try it after. I wanted to see strength and the modded weapons and stuff and see if it still kind of applies it or if it removes it or just for fun. So, anyways, we got our Wither Star. So, see, our Wither Scar. And uh, you know those hearts? We have a ridiculous amount of I farm more of these for fun. Uh, look at 37 miniature yellow hearts. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to work on the rest of my hearts, but the it's not worth it gold-wise. It is worth it, but not right now. It's not like I need it. I want to finish it, but just don't have the gold quite for it right now. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, build our last uh, little buddy here. 
And now we should be able to build our sword. Uh, wrong sword, but you know, close enough. Uh, do, 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 do. I guess we didn't build this part of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What didn't we do here? Oh. I guess I forgot to build those. I built the other ones, derp. Two, three. There you go. And. There you go. Go. Still didn't build this part, I guess. Derp. There we go. Now we're on a roll. And then, of course, this goes in there. And there you go. So, once again, I assume for safety reasons, I don't want to take the chance. I'm going to go ahead and take the chance out. Now, this one has a lot more enchants in it. Oh, interesting. It just pulls it out, whatever. Uh, and there we go. Look at that. So we went from 20 attack to 40 attack plus 20% of mob damage or health or whatever. That's ridiculous. There you go. The ultimate sword. Almost ultimate, actually. There's one that's better. And that's what we're working on. But we need to make the shovel. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Inventory. One here. One here. One here. One here. One here. And there you go. So what does this sword do? It looks like it doesn't have actually any special properties or anything. Just basically the normal sword. Of course, uh, it's probably ten times better in a way. Let's just make sure these are as enchanted. I don't think there's anything else. Actually, I don't think these can be... Oh, no, they still show up. Uh, Soulbound got lost. Not sure how that happened, but let's enchant that. Um, 100, the, 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 that was probably worth like like 200 levels of like 30 over again. Just the waste of uh, levels there. Just want to make sure nothing got knocked. Okay, good. I lost the Soulbound. Interesting. Soulbound's on that one, so I'm happy about that. Interesting, the weapon can be enchanted, but not this one. Huh. Okay, so, uh, you know, a good place to try out our new weapon. Not like it matters much, but... Oh, yeah, let's try it on the dummy first. Let's do that. Uh, was it meh? It's just a bunch of M's. Here we go. And here we go. So... 32 damage a hit now. Holy crap. That is, that's ridiculous. I mean, this bow is still ridiculous too, so. But 32 damage a hit's interesting. Now, I wanted to see what happens if we drink a uh, strength potion. Because I want to know if, uh, let's do, let's do strength too for fun. I just wanted to know if it does like ridiculous amount of multiplying on this, so. No, it still does too. Interesting. That's something I wanted to know. Yeah, it does not seem to do any damage difference. I have a feeling that that's more vanilla only mechanics maybe. Uh, this is an iron sword, huh? Let's use an iron sword and try it out and see if it's different. So 12.6, okay. And then if we drink the milk here... Yep. Yeah. So it looks like the damage multiplier only seems to exist on more of the vanilla type tools. Now, I think it does work on Tinkers. Um, so if we use the beheading on this, right? 19.5. Now, if we drink a strength potion here, let's drink the good one here. I think Tinkers might actually let you be a little more overpowered, unless they nerfed that recently. Uh, 23.5. Okay, maybe not. Hmm. It went up a bit, didn't it? But not really. Okay. Uh, so that, well, that answers that now. We know that we won't have to worry about, uh, you know, increasing our damage in that way. But uh, naturally, our damage is ridiculous now anyway. So it's not like we actually have to worry about it ever. Um, how did that? Oh, that's an unbound one. I guess it was on the second slot here. Here we go. And there we go. So, yeah. Uh, basically, what I'll do is I need to farm a lot more gold. And so we can create a lot more of these cores and whatnot because clearly we're not going to have enough uh we need to make uh we'll see what we need and we can start working on some of it to get an idea so we want to make this of course oh we already have that one don't be a bastard uh we want to make this of course uh which means we need that shovel which we have we need this um so there, there is 
We need a crap ton of these again. Um, I don't know. I say just go make 23 of them. There you go. And uh, here we go. One, two, three, four. Kind of go through the process now, you know, of what we can make. So there you go. We got all those except, of course, the core one. Uh, up here, we got those. So, yeah. Oh, so there's two, yeah, two stars per... For some reason, I thought it was more than that. Okay, anyways, yeah, so we'll get those done. And then the ultimate, the ultimate one of all is this staff here, which isn't actually bad. It's four nether stars. So I need four nether stars there. And I need, oh, derp, never mind. Now I remember. There's one for each of these. Okay, so yeah. So to make this, I need four nether stars. I need um four nether stars and of course the shovel requires another one so nine nether stars so i need to farm enough for that uh which isn't isn't terribly bad it's just i need to farm them so uh kind of interested in the beheading now for this what's in here left molten electrum hmm Oh, and there's enough Ardenite for a weapon blade. Let's do it. I'm making a new weapon, I think. Um, casting. Let's get some castings going here. So, tough rod. Um, tough binding. Actually, don't know if we do tough binding. I don't think tough binding is required for the hammer one, right? That's for the axe, I think. Uh, yeah, it's not required. So... Let's go ahead and create a tough rod from this. And then let's do, um, I'm looking damage wise, right? So, uh, well, the other one we made is probably as good as it gets too, right? So let's see what we made here. Uh, cleaver. So let's see what we have here. This thing has, wow. 39 attack damage. Okay, so this thing is... Um, oops, control. Shiny. Oh, we use shiny plates. Holy crap. So maybe I was wrong there. Maybe uh, plate-wise... Uh... So the shiny plates themselves... Uh, where are they? Let's type in large plate, I guess. Large plate. So the large plates themselves are, um, or I want to see shiny first. Shinies are 2.5 hearts. The Ardenite is 1.5 hearts. Interesting. So I want shinies now. Now, how much does it cost? Material-wise, it costs 8 to make. So uh, here it is, 8 and then 8. And oh, you know what? We're out of lava too, so that's going to be a problem. And then, uh, what about the head on this? Oh, this is a hammerhead, by the way. Oh, we're an idiot. We're making a cleaver. Darn it. I kind of derped this all up. I almost made the wrong weapon. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so you need two rods, but we know two rods don't work. We could probably use a paper modifier. So we need one of these and one blade. Uh, large blade, probably. Large blade, is it called? No. Well, it does call it large sword blade. Okay. So, shiny is 2.5 hearts. What about the Ardenite? Uh, Ardenite? Uh, oh, that's the waking core. Oh, we could use that now, but no, we can't because we don't know how to make it. Yeah, it's never, it doesn't have an actual recipe for it. So, um, I'm trying to look for the Ardenite now. It's kind of hard to look. I'm not really familiar with colors here properly. Oh, there's a cobalt. This has to be Ardenite. 1.5 hearts. Really? To me, that just seems bizarre, to be honest. Uh, let's type in Cleaver. Let's see what one shows up as the most damage out of here. 14... Fourteen seal cleaver, really? Dracana, whatever. Awaken twenty-eight. See the sh the silver. Oh, that wasn't shiny. I thought that was the shiny. Where's the shiny? 
Where is the shiny? So they all look the same to me, so it's kind of hard to tell which one is which. Oh, here it is. It's all the way to the top. 14. And where's the cobalt one we saw before? Funny, the Electrum one is 11. The shiny, uh, the shiny is better. Oh, here we go. Cobalt and Ardenite, right? No, Ar oh, there it is. Ardenite. 11. Okay, so shiny is the one. It's definitely shiny. Okay, so... Whatever. We just throw this crap in here. Oh, you know what we need? Ugh. We need lava. Uh, I forgot I ran out of that a while ago. So hope we have a bucket over here. Yes, we got one lava bucket. Perfect. Okay, so maybe the right side. And uh, okay, so we got all that. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh yeah, probably want the sword. Large. Oh, here it is. So we got that, we got that, and we have that. Uh, I think that's it, but we might want paper, paper tough rod instead. If we can hit the right amount on it, to be honest. There you go. So, uh, I guess the first thing we pour is this, and just confirm that I'm not an idiot this time. Yep. I was doing melting random stuff down for extra gold. I was that desperate for gold, if you can believe that. Watch it. Ma oh, no, we have lava. Okay. You can see actually the progression and the mount there. That's cool. I didn't realize that. Cool. So, hopefully, this is over a thousand durability, of course, because we need the thousand durability. Uh, so that, 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 because we know we couldn't stack two of the one type in there, weirdly enough. Oh, wow, that's way more durable than I expected, to be honest. Uh, so the attack hearts is seven. Makes me want to try another paper one just to see. That's a tough one, huh? Let's get more paper. Why waste the... I, I guess it doesn't really matter, to be honest, but it's like... To me, it's like, why waste it if you can just use paper, right? Because we have enough durability. But I also want to see if there's like any kind of weird stat changes to it. So, um, Tough Rod, there we go. So let's see, does this change at all? No, it just loses an insane amount of durability that we don't even actually need. So let's do that for now. So this one will give us five modifiers, which is what we want. Now we could get more modifiers, of course, if we made everything else out of the materials, but I would rather have the damage. Uh, yeah, I would rather just have like close to one shot here. So beheading is 20%. So we want to do the beheading. Let's, uh, I think it is, oh, you know what we need? Beheading, a tinker's construct. I think we need uh, wither skulls on it, so you won't see this, but we'll see. Heading. Uh, oh no, it's obsidian and ender pearl. Never mind, that's easy. And of course, the gold stuff too. So gold. Um, oh, except gold now is expensive. We don't even have gold right now. That's that's pretty desperate times we're in. Actually, you know what? Gold nuggets. I forgot I had a bunch of gold nugget, nuggets earlier that I was working on. There you go. But even then, we're not going to have enough for what we want. So, whatever. Uh, diamond. Diamond in the rough. There you go. And, uh, yeah. So, obsidian. And uh, ender pearls. And, oh yeah, we want a flux capacitor on this, especially since we definitely uh, nerf this completely. Flux. And uh, we want the iron flux, of course, but, you know, whatever. There you go. 
so lead flux, and then the after that we want this flux. And okay, we'll try that. I mean, of course, we want to probably put quartz on it if you can afford it. But hey, what you know, 100% is better than you know dealing with that. So uh, let's get the flux on here first because I think that's a must. And then let's get some beheading on here, shall we? So this is the beheading. Uh, so this is 30%. Oh, I thought it was higher than that. Okay, so you know what? Maybe I just want to keep doing the beheading because that's, to me, more important at this point. So here's one modifier extra, at least, we can get on there. I mean, it still does 14 attacks, so it's not like it doesn't do much damage. Um, and then, of course, uh, more of this. There you go. Wait, what? This is 50. Oh, but it will turn into 60? Okay. It's like, you better not be ripping me off. There you go. So we have 70%, which is ridiculous. We could get to, what, maybe 90%? We could have gotten more, of course, if we kind of nerfed uh, the tool even more, but I don't want to nerf more damage on it. Uh, so we go to Passions of Pike's Place, for people who don't know, and I always get lost. It's over here, I believe. No, it's over here over here I think oh crap it didn't load fast enough for me so I can't see there you go tada just to show you guys where I'm I go for it most of you already know and should know this place anyways guess we'll try one and give our luck I won't bother showing me killing wither bosses you guys seen it a million times anyways there you go so, yeah, it sucks because it's not instant, but um, it's a lot more uh, chance to get heads. I already got the one, so that's good. This is not on the right uh, side. There we go. There we have it. I wanted my magnet on. There you go. No. Darn it, I lost that one. So there you go. We already got three uh, hat humps or heads. There you go. So it's not hard. It's easy. Um, and this is worthwhile for farming them. Uh, who cares? Because they spawn at the same amount anyway. So it, it doesn't re really matter for damage. You could get a head 100% as well. Maybe I should have done that. But eh, who cares? I'm happy with it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And we'll see you guys next time. And... Uh, yeah, we will be finishing that Staff of Power, I think, for next episode. That's my goal anyway. So thank you so much for watching, and see you soon.